Hello, good morning. Today is 2022, July 2nd. Today is Saturday and uh, yesterday we have the Hong Kong and 25th anniversary of uh, returning to China. And so yesterday we have a holiday and um, yesterday I did a great job for myself that I um, tried to deploy the KVM decode. Um, I tried to see whether I can um, export it to iOS and luckily success. So now I have my first KVM the um, exercise code that successfully run in a, a simulator of in iOS uh, iPhone 13 simulator in my MacBook. I'm not a very experienced Mac user. I used to be a Windows and Linux user, so I did find a lot of difficulty in making all things work. But finally it works and it proved that Kiwi is one of the um, best choices for uh, developing app in both iOS and, uh, and, and um, Android. I've used, fl I've learned Flutter before, but I, I changed to Kiwi because I love Python, and that's the only reason, because I also succeeded in um, deploying Flutter code to iOS before. So both are good, but Kiwi, uh, I love it more because of Python. Okay, now uh, this is my notes, how I did it first. It's very, very difficult. In fact, I made um, many, many mistakes and uh, trial and error. And so I don't know whether all these steps are uh, all necessary because some steps may be redundant and may be um, not very useful. But I will not try it again because unless I uh, refresh my MacBook and do everything again to prove the validity of every step. Now, um, I got uh, many guidance in the internet. One of them is this one. Win at work by communicating effectively with Grammarly. Meet Todd. He is emailing a difficult client. I think we should explore a few. Uh, install KV-LOS using pip. Okay. And I have ran into some trouble in the past with that. Okay, that's one of them. And uh, also to get some reference here. Now back to how you use. Uh, yeah, did all the uh, excellent sources and references. And also the, the latest build also. I love Build Dozer because um, I succeeded in uploading my code to Android, to Google Play Store uh, by using uh, Build Dozer. So I initially I tried Build Dozer for iOS, but I failed. Um, I don't know, but it's really good because I in the Build Dozer uh, in uh, my app here. I, um, after running build dozer init in this folder, I got a very nice build dozer spec and already um, described everything for you for using the KD, um, of the um, SDK of, uh, and also it also link up with the um, iOS, what the name, because it's still very new in that. Uh, called uh, Kiwi iOS, okay, but in this, uh, but finally it still fails, so um, therefore I give up and use other methods, I will explain it later. First of all, have the brewing, because I got a MacBook that totally uh, not usable for for this task initially, so I have the brew, 
in Florida Python, of course, that's the number one. And also I do also Emacs because for editing I'm very used to Emacs and also good in that or as I mentioned I'm not very experienced iOS or MacBook user. But using Emacs I have found no problem because I use the same kind of keystrokes in Windows, Linux, everywhere, so uh, it's just very easy. And uh, Blue Upgrade and uh, install everything that for making the compilation in the later on. And I follow this instruction, but I don't know whether I can just write the Blue Lip Tool, I'm not sure. But anyway, and then the Blue Doctor will tell you what's wrong with uh, all those things. Okay, that is the brewing. And that is very, very important task, is that I follow the instruction to do this too. I don't know whether it's necessary, I'm not sure. But the most important that I ensure to install the Xcode and App Store. You put this button here and go to App Store and you find the Xcode because I already installed so it comes to my Xcode. Otherwise it was uh, I you to download and do uh, installation and take a long, long time because my MacBook is old. I uh, this uh, second-hand one. I don't know whether it's too old, but it takes very long time to install that Xcode. We need Xcode because that contains all the necessary SDK, and also for the make sure this folder works. This folder is here. App. It show all these, uh, all the applications that are installed. Okay, so to make sure that this one, uh, this CD, uh, this, they actually exist. Otherwise, everything don't work in the following steps. Then come to the Python side. You have to install. I just follow the instructions, and I. Upgrade sliders, but this one because it's not mature yet, so it's better not to install here. In fact, I uninstall them right afterwards. In fact, I uninstall. Later. So you must install the KVM, the pillow, Python. Then you test your code in the MacBook. Okay. Okay, let's test it. Go to apps, and Python main. Now that's running in MacBook itself, so it's not uh, in a simulator, so it's much faster. So at least you know that your code is workable in in the MacBook environment, okay? So this step's okay, make sure the code works. Test it up. Now that is the most important part and take a long time to do. First of all, that instruction for using um, IO, uh, KV iOS. And that is not using the build dozer. So the two different things. And I follow this route rather than build dozer route. Maybe in the future I would come back to build those uh, after the more mature, but for the time being, it's still not very, uh, still a lot of bugs for me at least, I don't know. Now the procedure that you change to apps, and then you run the GitHub to clone it, and then uh, after cloning, you would get a folder, a directory called Kiwi iOS, and then you run into virtual environment.
in the work environment that you uh, install the TV iOS, I got it already. Initially, I didn't use the virtual environment because I thought I got everything installed, so I don't need it. But uh, in fact, you need it because in the MacBook, they only look for Python and not Python 3, so they got into trouble in the compilation. So later on, I used the environment, and that's okay. And in the environment, you to chain that is the very important pro um, command after installation of the kv ios you have to two chain build the kv python pillow took a very long time and then we open the next code then i to chain create this project in xcode and opened the project. Initially it worked, but unfortunately nothing happened. Uh, and uh, the app exited immediately. Then later on I searched the internet and I found that, uh, yeah, I miss, still missed the module KVMD. So then I to change the KVMD. Uh, it failed. Then I try again the internet and I found the steps how to to chain build the KBMD. And then it worked. So I deactivate and go out and uh, if I want to test it, I can just open just uh, open Yeah, I'm not a very experienced MacBook user, so open this, and then you just press the button to test it. Okay, replace. I never built the seat, and there are some information here. And to come up with a simulator, and it's now iPhone 13, and I tapped it. So it had all the function. Yeah, it work. Okay, so basically it's like that. Of course, it's only the first step. How to sign the, the applications? How to upload to App Store? I don't sorry to. Yeah, that to App Store. I didn't know yet, and I will still have to explore. Once I got the experience, I would again uh, make the video to record my uh, as as my own channel, and also like uh, maybe if you, uh, anybody happened to look at this, also may help in his or her um, uh, 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 goal of uh, developing. Um, iOS app via KV and KVMD. I don't know whether this video is useful or not. If yes, maybe say some nice words to me. If no, that's okay. Please give your comments. Okay, thank you, and I hope to talk to you again later, some days later. Thank you. Bye.